I made Moshi monster foods in real life and only ate them for 24 hours. From glump cakes and mice krispies to bog juice and chocolate covered broccoli, this was gross. So I really hope you enjoy. So for breakfast this morning, we've got Mice Krispies. They're not that bad, right? And then for our drink, we have Bug Juice. It looks blue in the recording. It's definitely purple. I thought it's in September. They're gonna have edible bugs in the shop for Halloween. Apparently this year we're skipping Halloween because all that's in the shops are Christmas ornaments. It's September. It's 25 degrees. Why are there Christmas things? So our bug juice is just the only purple drink I could make, which is purple rain, a cocktail. And I don't drink. We've got cherry sours. No sick, just thinking about it. And a blue liqueur. And the rest of it is just lemonade. So we'll try some bug juice. Oh, that's strong. Hold on. I got a free straw. It tastes good. But hot take, it would take worse if it had dead spiders in it. It's time for, for the, uh, the mice. They are very sticky. Just like real mice. I'm gonna eat its ass. The monsters make it look so easy. But okay, good. I like the Mice Krispies. Even if they are made out of Cocoa Pops. What a nutritional meal. So to rate these, I'm going to give the Bug Juice a 6 because it tastes good. But I'm probably going to get very drunk. And it's not got bugs in it. But the Mice Krispies, they look good. Wow. Good might be a bit strong. They taste pretty nice, and you could eat these as a meal if you were really, really desperate. So I'll give these an eight. <laughs> Starting up high. <laughs> well, that breakfast was surprisingly filling. <laughs> so we've got a free course lunch. We have got spicy dragon rolls, garlic marshmallows, and jelly baked beans. All of them, very underwhelming. But these are the worst three things and they just happen to be clumped together. <sighs> Maybe we should start with the, um, the garlic marshmallows. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> 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 I love garlic, but fuck, why does that taste spicy? Speaking of spicy, I had a very good idea for these dragon rolls. Unfortunately, dragons don't exist anymore. And I'm not middle class enough to be able to find where seaweed is in the shops. So this is how I made them. And I mean, they came out not looking awful and they probably would be quite nice if I didn't drown them in, in chili. It's kind of, kind of looks the same, sort of, maybe, if you squint and <laughs> are blind. Hmm. Oh, what? That tastes good. Genuinely. I don't know what leaf this is. I found it in the park on the way back from the shops and it just looked cool. It's very chewy. I'm okay. I'm actually okay. Maybe I should have another garlic marshmallow. I think I'm actually gonna eat these all the way through. These taste edible. And for the jelly baked beans, I had some jelly beans left over from the Harry Potter video with the really gross flavors. And for some reason, I decided to use them. And it looks like that. Disgusting! And that's before it's gone in me. I don't want to. I don't want to eat these. Why would I? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's a spice. <laughs> what if I lick him? Can you eat pussy like that? I'm gonna try and get one of the beans. Ah! Instantly clashing with the spice and the garlic. As a no go, as a no go. I'm out, I'm out. I need to get much more drunk before we're getting to tea time. We finally made it until tea time. And this is where the really cool meals are. Unfortunate that it landed them at the end of the day, but at least it's given me something to look forward to. The chili popcorn. Why did you ruin such a good meal like this? Chocolate covered broccoli. I'm actually excited to eat a vegetable. And last but definitely not least, we have glump cakes of every flavor. Saffron, sweet corn, mint. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna have a cake and then a food, and then a cake, and then a food, and then a last cake. The last one we're gonna have is very special to me. We're gonna start with the most normal sounding flavor. That's mint. I made these completely from scratch, you can see the entire process. I know the cake itself is gonna be... Okay. I've never used mint in baking before, only cooking. Did I make the bits too big? Let's find out. It tastes like toothpaste. That'll be a yes. But if you want a cake to give you a good breath, I mean, for... Oh. My phone's already blowing up with girls that want to kiss me. That's the first really nice thing I've had all day. Well done, me. <laughs> Let's hope it's not the last. Next up, chili popcorn. Look how colourful it is. Ah! Shit. Not really sure how to eat this, it's just... Maybe you're in a dark cinema. You get some popcorn. Then suddenly Spider-Man dies. <gasps> oh, shit. By far, the easiest to avoid, and the most edible out of everything, the most normal. Our second glump cakes are yellow for sweet corn. The flavor of glump cakes is so random. Saffron, mint, and sweet corn. I'd even prefer peas, especially on the top on this one. You can see lots of yellow bits, and on the bottom. I was pretty generous with the sweet corn. The difference is, I like sweet corn. Will it taste okay in a cake? Well, it already feels pretty moist. It does not work in a cake. What the fuck? You heard it here first, folks. Don't put sweet corn in cakes. Why does that taste so bad? Like, I know it's bad, but it's just a bad combination. It's not a bad thing. Why does it taste as bad as it does? There's no reason why it should taste this bad. Here we go. It's the big one. Chocolate coloured broccoli. Um, do I? Oh! Oh! Oh, I forgot. I like broccoli. But this is raw broccoli. I'm definitely glad I chose dark chocolate because it actually has flavor. If you don't like dark chocolate, don't make dark chocolate covered broccoli. I look like a crack dealer. Oh, the only thing I could do is maybe break it up and have a little bit, it's more like broccoli covered chocolate now. That tastes way better. Goodbye toffee apples. Hello, chocolate broccoli. When I was nine, there was a group of four of us that played Moshi Monsters. I didn't end things on the best of terms with two of them, but the one, the real one, her name was Saffron. So I'm eating these Saffron Glump Cakes in honor of you, who probably hasn't played Moshi Monsters in 10 years. Now I did empty an entire jar of Saffron in here, don't know if that's good or bad, because I'm not entirely sure what saffron tastes like. I just know that there's um, 
There's quite a lot of it. It's not really showing. Oh, it's also got lots of holes in this cake. I generally don't know what this is going to taste like. But for Saffron, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I lost your bracelet. I still think about it and regret it to this day, which is very, very pathetic of me. Oh! Oh! That's what Saffron tastes like. Oh! Uh, uh, what is that? 